she was having surgery frequently. I mean, she would have surgery every two to 10 weeks, and that went on for five years. Her airway would go from being clear after surgery, and then within the matter of weeks, it could be 90% obstructed. And it was hard for her. I mean, it was hard to be around other kids and they could never understand her. And she would feel like, you know, she couldn't get her point across, so she just wouldn't talk. Clearly, as otolaryngologist, this is not my expertise to inject Avastin into somebody's circulation. That's beyond my scope of practice. So we reach out to our colleagues, and in this situation, I reach to Dr. Applebaum, who is a hematology oncology professional and uses Avastin for other disease entities. Avastin, or as we often call it, Bevacizumab, is a, a monoclonal antibody that's um, designed to specifically target a certain gene called vasoendothelial growth factor alpha. Uh, and the reason this was developed is that VEGF um, is actually one of the key drivers of blood vessel formation. Uh, and the thought behind it was if, you know, as an oncologist, if you use a VEGF inhibitor to target uh, blood vessel formation within cancer, and as you think about it, as a cancer grows, it needs to form new blood vessels so it has oxygen so it can get nutrients and, and keep growing. If you choke off that blood supply with a VEGF inhibitor like Bevacizumab or Avastin, then the tumor doesn't get its nutrients, the tumor can't grow, and ultimately the tumor will regress and hopefully die and go away. I looked at Eden when she first came, and she had a bunch of papillomas over her larynx in the operating room. And then after she received her first one or two injections, I believe, we looked again, uh, but there were absolutely no papillomas, which was incredible. Like, that was very, very cool to see. I didn't know her before, um, but just looking through her and meeting her family and, and talking with Eden and, and being able to provide this drug, which, you know, from the point of view of an oncologist is a very safe drug um, and very well tolerated drug and, and have it make such a profound impact on her life, that's yeah, been incredibly you know, rewarding. You were so great. Being able to get a break from those surgeries has given her a chance of a normal life and she can feel like a normal first grader. She is incredibly happy and fun and loving and I feel like she just has this new zest for life. She is doing fantastic. We have no surgery scheduled, which is amazing. She hasn't had one in almost a year, and it's just like a whole new life. <laughs>